drink with the permission of my father. Early in the morning, Rabotai, just right now we found out from Tam Chach Natan al Alayev that Rabbi Harav Agadol Harav Gershon Ben Miriam Edelstein was Nifter Rabotai, I believe, this morning at 100 years old. On Shavuot, they took him to the hospital. Today he's no longer with us. One of the greatest Gidolim that lived Rabotai, a person whose whole being was about Avodot Hashem, was about Torah, was about helping the world, Rabotai. I don't know if you guys know who Rabbi Edelson is. He, Nathan Alive just told me right now, as you guys heard, 80 years old, 80 years, not 80 years old, 80 years to be the Rosh Hashim of Panovich. Rabotai, do you know what, it, what does it mean to keep a position of 80 years? We lost one of the greatest giants, and this is something which is not normal, Rabotai. The many more tzaddikim we lose, the worse that it gets in this world. Remember, every time somebody big goes, something else bad happens. Because like the Gemara says, as long as the tzaddikim are alive, we are protected. We work, we have fun, we do everything we want. We do not know it's because of them. As long as they're alive, we are good. But when they're not here, Rabotai, Trouble is coming, Rabotai. We have nobody who's going to be able to protect us. The leaders of Klaus Yisrael Oleinu are not with us. Rabotai, just to give you an, an idea who Rabbi Gershon Edelson Zatal was, they asked him a question of Chasr Shalom. I don't believe this when I heard it. I heard it from my rabbi. It was hard for me to believe it. He said, you have to find it. I eventually found it on YouTube. Then I found it on YouTube. The answer by Gershon Erelson, if you have a child that wants to walk with the father on the, to walk with the father to the synagogue on Shabbat, but the father wants, uh, the father, the son wants to smoke, what should the father do? Should he walk with the son? Or should he try to take different routes? Or if you have a daughter, but I'm not advocating, I'm not advertising this. But I'm just, I want to show you how Sensitive a person who was all his whole being was in Torah. How sensitive he was when he came to people. They asked the question, what happens if you have a daughter law in Rabotai that's immodest? She wears mini skirts, tidies, whatever, these leggings, schmeggings. What do you do? Rabotai, listen to the answer he said. With your son, you walk with him, let him walk with you to the shul. But what about what everybody's gonna say? Don't worry what about what about everybody's gonna say. You want to be able to try to win over your son. Eventually, you could tell him that this is wrong, but don't attack him. What about your daughter, the case with the girl? What do you say? Take her. Go shopping. Don't go against her. Go shopping with her. What do you want? First, you have to try to win the kids into your favor. Once you win them over, then you could say something. Rabotai, we have no idea who we lost. It's very, very sad. Rabotai, you have to be able to eulogize this Gidolin properly. I want to show you something. Today, the sickness of this world is, the sickness of the Yeshua world is, is that whenever we chas for Shalom here, a person die, we think 100 years old, 98 years old, 80 years old, he lived a good life. What's a good life, Rabotai? No matter how much you live, how good can the life be? Why do you make it that it's good and everybody walks away happy? They walked in happy to the Yeshua, they walk out happy from the Yeshua. Rabotai, I want to show you something. This is not how it's supposed to be. The halakha in the Shulchan Aruch says just the other way around. The Tamri Chachamim, the Rabbaim, the people that speak have to make sure that the people cry. We don't make people cry. We make people happy when they leave. Rabotai, don't think when a person like this dies, you have to start. We have to start mourning. We have to start crying. We have to start changing. Look at the Shulchan Aruch in the tour. Also, this is brought down the Shukhunar and Simon Shin Mem and Yoridea. Rabotai, this was not planned. It's just right now. It happened a second ago. I have other things I want to say. I just want to show you, Rabotai, how sick this world is. Everything became about, from the outside, everything became so fake that really in the Yusuf, it became like a restaurant. We started giving out gifts and who knows what just to make sure everybody's happy. Rabotai, I'm telling you right now, 
We are living a life of lies and lies and lies. That's all we're doing. I'm telling you, we're destroying everything. We're destroying years ago with our bare hands. I could start counting right now how many people are assimilated that I personally know. How many people got married to Goyim because of these things? People tell me in my face, they make you so important. So I'll rob, I'll steal, I'll get married to Goya. Somebody told me the other day, with one of the Emmet rabbis, they made a survey in a public school. How many Bukharian boys want to get married? If not, how many? How many of Bukharian boys want to get, they don't get, they don't get, mind getting married to non Jewish girls. 80% said it's not a problem. It is because of us, Rabotai, the way we lead the community. It is sick. Rabotai, look what he says over here. Everybody knows that there's an obligation. The Chassel Shalom, if one of his seven close relatives dies, he has to go out and he has to rip his shirt, Rabotai. Comes the two, also his brother on the Shulchan Aruch. He says the same Allah applies, just like a person has to rip on his close relative. <clears throat> So too he has to rip on distant people. According to each person, accordingly, Rabotai, even if you if you knew the person, he was a kosher person, you have to rip for him, but he's nobody to you. Rabotai, the minute is not to do this, but I want to show you something. Arumi, give me water, please. The time was taught in the brighter. Why do parents, small children which are boys and small children which are girls, why do they die when they're, when they're young? Why? Why are children we see to the boys and girls going left and right? Because he did not cry. And he did not mourn on a kosher person. Wow. How much more so, Rabotai, when you're dealing with the gadol? Okay, so he died. Okay, so we continue. Rabotai, I'm telling you, we're not, we don't know what's going on. Shikol abochem mitabel aladam kosher. Anybody who cries and mourns, you feel bad, man. We lost some. You guys, I'll tell you why we don't understand. You know why we don't understand? Because we don't know what Torah is. That's it. If you guys hear somebody rich dies, you guys understand. That guy ain't helping you. This guy was helping you. Rabotai, shikol abuchel mitabel alatim kosher. Anybody who cries and mourns over a kosher person, mocholin lo alkol avonotav bishvil kavosha salo. They're going to forgive you for all your sins because of the honor that you showed the guy by feeling bad and crying over him. How about what we do today? We go to Yeshua. I'm telling you, on our phones, ah, this one is singing, that one is talking, that one is drinking, shoshet. Everybody's doing whatever they want. This is Stuyot. I'm telling you, Stuyot. It's good what we're doing, but do it the right way. You're taking money. Do it what's supposed to be done. Why are you teaching the community the way, wrong, wrong way to go? Show them the Emmet. Why you, what, what do we do? You destroy the community for a few dollars. Hey, you tell me I have to have a moon in Hashem. Where is your moon in Hashem? Do what needed to be done. Look how many people are dying. Rabotai, remember one thing. When a fireman davens, what is he davening for, Borel? He needs business. No, they're going to close down the, what do you call these things? Fire department. What do you call these houses that they, they have? Station, fire stations, they're going to close them down. So what are they down for? They need parnasa. They need work. So what happens? Hashem makes fire. Doctors need business, so Hashem makes people sick all in. Why do you think when a person leaves the Yeshua, he needs parnasa? What do you think he's down for? If he's down for parnasa, means people have to die. Rabotai, use your mind. Take the same Rabbanim. Pay them, forget about 300000 Give them $5,000. Tell them to teach you real Torah, Rabotai. Sit down, make a circle. That's what Yeshua is, Rabotai. Give them whatever they want. But at least they won't have people dying. Rabotai, look what he says over here. Upirish Bochem Mitabel. He wants to explain what does it mean to cry and to mourn. Shaboche vekorei alav. Avalein tzadik l'shev alav be'avelut. Elimu rabo muvag, Rabotai. 
It means he cries and he mourns, but he does not have to sit mourning. He doesn't have to sit seven days. Unless it's his, unless it's his big rabbi, meaning where he got the majority of his learning from. V'chol amorid dimaot al adam kosher. Hakadosh Baruch Hu gonzam bebet gilazav. Anybody in Abotai who cries and out of kosher, especially in our situation, with this God on Abotai, Hashem takes your tears and He puts it in His treasure house. Abotai, what's going on today is not normal. It's just, this is very sad. I can't, I can't fathom this. You guys don't understand. When I tell people you have to learn Torah, blah, blah, Torah, who says Torah is real? Why have to die? Why have to? Rabotai, so it comes out, you chacham, you the smartest one, but these gudon, they don't know, right? They didn't know what they were doing. Chacham Ovad, Rav Chaim Kenevsky. All the Gidon, they didn't know what they were doing. You know everything. Why? How is the Torah right? Why is it? Well, you guys somehow have, somehow have questions. And Rabotai, I prepared also another thing. I think I'm going to leave that for but another tomorrow. Rabotai, we have to do Teshuvah. We have to wake up. This is not normal. I'm telling you right now, Rabotai. If you think Artur John, we came into this world to have a good time, wake up. If people like this, Gedolim, who are all Torah, and in Avot with Hashem, if the Hashem can take them, Rabotai, I'm telling you right now, there's no reason why anybody less of a statue should not be taken. People, you can have as much as good time you want in this world. But remember in the end, how does, it, how does they say it in American language? There is no free lunch. You decide to do a various eventually in the end you will pay. You want to do mitzvot, in the end you will get rewarded. This is how it works in Rabotai. Anybody who tells you otherwise, anybody who's going to tell you, oh, it's okay. Kiru shmiru Rabotai, do all the kiru you want in the world. Do whatever you want in the world. I don't care, Rabotai. Do whatever you want. But remember one thing. When it comes down to reality, after 120, when the people are going to see how you held them back from doing mitzvot, how you lied to them, Rabotai, everything in the end is galui. Everything in the end is going to be revealed. They're going to be very, very much upset with you. A person is dying, right? He has a sickness. You know the, the doctor knows the remedy. He knows the remedy. But he doesn't give. That's how it is. Everything's, everything's about money. He knows the remedy. But he doesn't want to give. You know why? Because you don't want to pay. Is he normal, this doctor? Is the doctor normal? Or is he is a murderer? Rabotai, same thing with us. Whenever we're dealing with people, I'm not telling you to fight with them. I'm not telling you to hate them. On the contrary, love them, speak to them, be with them. But don't lie to them. If what they're doing is wrong, tell them, listen, this is, this is wrong. You want to grow up to it? You want to reach that level? Do it. But don't lie. Don't sit there and make it okay. Don't make wrong right, Rabotai. Tell the people the way it is and let them decide on their own. At least tomorrow they're not going to hate you. Because remember, in the end, people are going to come back to Hashem. But when they're going to find, find out that they came back, and it took them 20 years, 30 years, 40 years to come back to Hashem, where they could have done it at a faster pace, they'll be very much upset with you. Why you didn't tell them the truth? Rabotai, I told you this last time. I had a guy, he came to me. He said, if you were my rabbi, oh, no, not he said, I'm glad you're not my rabbi. Who said, I want to be your rabbi? Say, my rabbi, I ain't your rabbi, I'm nothing, Rabotai. What means my rabbi? Will you decide who be, you become a, who becomes your rabbi? Why you who you who do you think you are? Rabbi, my I'm happy you're not my rabbi. If you were my uh, why? Because my rabbi, because of him, after 30 years I put on a keeper. If it would have been for you, I don't know how when I would put on a keeper. I said, Hamor, if it took you 30 years to put on a keeper with me, you put it in five minutes. What does it mean 30 years? 30 years you wasted of what? Need out with your wife, Karet. You ate pork. What does that mean? Thirty years. You just lo- yeah. You could do whatever you want. Some all the good things to show the ahava. It's very hard to do rabotai. And then when the children chasum go off the deck, what do we say? Oh, Rabbi, why is all this happening to me? Rabotai, wake up and smell the coffee. Right over here, Rabbi. Chasum, rabotai. Anybody they say Chazal bring down rabotai. A person who mourned over these gedolim, rabotai, take their midot, take their midot. Take the character trait. Take things that they did from the mourn for them. It's going to atone for your sins, Rabotai. And they're going to be able to help you to become much more closer to Hashem. Rabotai, may we never know of these things no more. Baruch Adonai Olam. Amen, amen. Rabbi Hanan, Ben Kasher, Meir, Atzaka, Dush Baruch Hu. Lez Akot, Et Yisrael, Lefich, Achir, Ba'alayim, Torah, Umis,